Visual Studio Code, which is commonly known as VS Code, is very popular and I personally like it very much. You can use this for almost every programming languages in this world. Anyway, many of the users find difficulties in running their C or C++ codes directly from their VS Code. Basically, that problem occurs in compiler section as many of the users can't install the compiler properly. And if they become successful in doing so, they mistake to add that in the path variables or do mistake in changing some necessary settings or forget about installing some necessary extensions and so on. It's high time I thought about making a video showing the complete procedure of setting up your VS code for C or C++ codes from A to Z. I'll also include a MinGW compiler in the description for making the task more simpler. Uh, well, first of all, you need to download the VS code from the internet. It's pretty easy actually. You just need to open a browser, go to Google, and search for Visual Studio Code or VS Code and hit enter. Among the search result, choose the first one, which is showing Visual Studio Code code editing redefined. It's the official source link of Visual Studio Code. If you are on Windows, you need to download a stable build, which is kept on saying download for Windows. If you just click here, it would start downloading automatically. After completing the download, you will get the executable file of VS Code like this. Just double click on the file and it will start the installation process. Click on I accept the agreement and hit next. 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 Here you will need to check all of the options available. Make sure you check all of this and after then just hit next. Click install. It will begin the installing process. Finish. Well, Visual Studio Code has been installed successfully. Now we need to work on our main GW compiler. I have provided a link in the description for you to download the compiler directly. Once you download the MinGW compiler from the link I have given in the description box, you will get this file like this. It's a zip file and we'll work on our uh, compiler from this zip file. First of all, extract this zip file. I'm extracting here. After the completion of the extraction process, I will get this folder renamed as MinGW. If I open this folder, I'll get this, all of this. Okay, so I'll just simply copy this entire folder and I need to paste it in the uh, C drive where my Windows is located. Well, just go to the drive and paste it in the root directory. Make sure that you are pasting the MinGW extracted folder in the root directory of your C drive, not in any other folder or in any other drive. After pasting the whole folder here, go to the MinGW folder. Go to into the bean folder and here just click on the link bar. We need to copy the whole text here. I mean, we need the file directory of MinGW bean folder. Simply click on the link bar and copy the entire link. And we need to add this directory to our path variables. For that, uh, simply right click on this PC, go to properties. 
click on advanced system settings now click on environment variables from the system variables select path and hit on edit now click on new and we will paste the directory which we have copied earlier here it's simple actually now hit ok 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 and close all the other windows now our compiler is ready we have added the directory in our path variables now we would need to set up our visual studio code a little for running c or c plus plus programs for now i'm closing this welcome tab and i'm going to extensions and i will install this c slash c plus plus after installing it i will install tab 9 an autocomplete ai i like this autocomplete feature a lot it will make your job more easier now i'll install code runner so that i can uh, run my code directly from this visual studio code in an integrated terminal wait for all the extensions i want to install to be installed first after then we'll need to customize uh, some extensions a little bit click on manage click on settings now in this search section of settings just type run code in terminal now find this option code runner you need to check this box i'm telling you again you need to check this box and yeah our work has been finished now i'm going to test a c program to see whether my vs code is running properly or not i'm going to create a new file named trial.c now i'll simply type well uh, if you want to save your code automatically then you may install another extension which is known as save typing just install it what will it do it would just simply save all of your progress automatically so you wouldn't have to worry about saving all of your progress simultaneously it would do the job for you now click on this button run code this actually works now i am checking uh, by using another trial code to see if the user can input their value directly in this code runner integrated terminal or not uh, i am going to test it using a very simple code which is sum of two integer numbers well if i run the code from here well it's asking me for the first number i'm giving the one and for the second number i'm providing one this works too isn't it right well if you want to change your default shell then you may change it from here like uh, i personally prefer windows powershell 64 bit actually well it works perfectly so that's it your vs code is now fully compatible with your any kind of c or c++ codes good luck <laughs>